Hi guys, this is Lourdes, and today I'm going to be swatching and reviewing the new Osborne, the MAC Osborne uh, lipstick collection. Now, I only got the Kelly lipsticks only because I'm a, um, like, junkie of lipsticks. I love lipsticks in special packaging, so no matter what, I was going to get them. Now, I was a little bit worried only because, um... The Kelly lipsticks seem to be a little bit on the pale side, especially, um, I think it's called, uh, Riot House in Strip Poker, but I decided to give it a go and decided that, you know what, and whatever, if anything, I'm going to do a review so that way you guys know what to get and what's going to work because I am not, um, very pale. I know a lot of people can pull it off and I wish that I could, but sometimes, you know, when you see people that are wearing that lipstick that doesn't look good at all with them it clashes with their like it clashes with their soul like they should not be wearing that and all you want to just go up to and be like no so that is what i'm afraid is going to happen to me with some of these lipsticks but whatever i'm gonna go ahead try it out do swatches and um i don't know i guess i'll keep them anyways because i love the packaging but whether i would wear them or not i don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and start with strip poker now strip poker is a light nude now i think i don't think i have anything like it and actually to be truly honest with you i'm opening these for the first time right now because i haven't really seen them yet so but it looks like uh let's see a light nude color um not sure how this is gonna work but i'm gonna go ahead put it on real quick and then um i'll be back all right so <laughs> Let me start off by saying that my lips are already really, really pigmented. Now for me to put this on, this to me is way lighter than I like to go. So for me to pull off this lipstick, I'm definitely going to have to wear a, uh, maybe like a brown lip liner with it. Um, but I mean, it's actually, let's see, this is, I believe it's a matte lipstick. So just make sure it is, just make sure before you wear it that you're wearing some kind of lip conditioner and you're exfoliating. I could totally tell as so I was putting it on that it was matte. Um, I feel so weird with this lipstick on. This is not normally the color that I go for because I feel like I just look like I'm dead. But um, it's, like I said, I would have to wear another lip liner to be able to pull this off. Now next is going to be, um, oh, not... Kelly Yum 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 is going to be my last one, Riot House. Now, Riot House is described as a light, vivid orange. Now, I was actually really excited when I saw this one, only because it reminded me of um, Sushi Kiss. Whether it's going to look like a Sushi Kiss, I have no idea. I do have Sushi Kiss, so I can do side-by-side um, -side comparison again. This is a matte color. Now, let's see. I Like I said, I haven't opened them yet. Oh, it looks like an, an orange color, so maybe this one, this one will look a little bit better on me, and I hope. So, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead, try this on, and I'm going to be right back. And then afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and do a comparison between Sushi Kiss and Right House. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. And, oh my gosh, guys, this is not what I was expecting. You see this. There's a lot of color on this, and apparently, when you put it on, it is super duper light. Now, if you're um, a little bit more paler, then I could see something like that pulling it off, but I can't pull this off. I mean, I'm not going to kid myself. If you ever see me on the street with this on, you can come up to me and just say, no, and I will understand, and I will go and take it off. But let me do um, a little swatch for you guys. Even, oh, you know... It looks kind of orangey there, but it is, look, it is not orange, like, on me. I mean, I can see a little bit of the orange on it, but not really. Now, I have Sushi Kiss, and yes, ladies, I do keep my boxes. I'm a weirdo when it comes to that. I love keeping my boxes for everything, but this is Sushi Kiss, and as you can tell, that has a lot more color, and I'm so disappointed because I was so, this is the color that I was really, really looking forward to. So, it is not what I was expecting it to be. Maybe, I think there's a, a pencil by NYX called Coral. So I'm gonna try it with that, see if it'll just give it a little bit more of a, a orange hint. 
but I can't wear this guys there's no way I am so disappointed right now I really want to cry I was so wanting to have Riot House work for me so oh well at least I still have Sushi Kiss and Sushi Kiss is now a permanent lipstick so if you don't have it go out and try it and then buy it because you're gonna love it just like I love it so okay so right now I'm going to do okay is it Dodgy Girl? Dodgy Girl? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so dumb. But I think it's Dodgy Girl. I hope. So, this is described as, I believe, a light lavender color. Ah, it won't open. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I have, um, well, ah, I have a couple purple lipsticks that I kind of like. I mean, especially like Lavender Whip. I don't know if, if you guys have that. But I think that's a different, this is also matte. So I think that's, oh my goodness, correct me if I'm wrong, but maybe like a cream sheen? I can't remember, but I like it. So hopefully I have better luck with this one. So wish me luck. I'm going to go put this on, come back, and we'll see. All right, guys. So this one is the one that I can't say. It's also a matte color. Um, Dodgy girl. Oh my goodness. You guys can totally make fun of me if I'm saying that wrong. But I like this one. I really love it. I literally was putting it on going, um, oh, please let me love you. But yeah, I really, really like this color. It's um, a light lavender color. And as you can see it, I mean, I'm in love. I really like this one. So I, and of course, I love the packaging. I'm just so bummed about the other two. But so far, I like this one. So now next one, oh my goodness, no, there's so many lipsticks everywhere right now. It's Kelly Yum Yum. Now Kelly Yum Yum, I think is compared to Candy Yum Yum. I've heard that this one's a little bit deeper. Oh, now this one's a satin lipstick. So this one is, let's see, what's so bright? I think it's described as a um, blue pink, which is good. I usually can't pull, like, I don't know, I like a lot of blue basis especially when it comes to like red and pinks so that's this is described as and i do have candy yum yum so i will do a side by side comparison of it so i'm hoping that i like this one too so hey two for two it wouldn't be so bad right now they also have um real quick i want to add this on they also have um blushes that i didn't get um the one from sharon i didn't get only because i think i have something like it but i'm definitely gonna go to Nordstrom's and check it out when it comes out and then the one from Kelly's collection I felt like it was maybe too light and it wouldn't show up on my skin tone again I'm gonna go to Nordstrom's and, and I just want to swatch it before I buy it because if I order from Mac it's not going back I will say a hundred times over that I'm gonna return it and nope I'm not it just you know what then I just start collecting and then it starts collecting dust because I don't use it so alrighty I'm excited I'm gonna go ahead try this one and I will be back all right, guys, so this is Kelly Yum Yum, and I love, I love, love this color. Now, the difference, let's see, I have Kelly Yum Yum right here. It's a satin, which feels so nice on my lips after trying all those mats. My poor lips, I'm definitely going to have to uh, moisturize tonight. And then I have Candy Yum Yum is a matte. Now, oh, I don't know, to me, Candy Yum Yum seems a lot brighter then um kelly yum yum maybe maybe it's not maybe it's, oh let me back up a little bit maybe some different finishes but i mean it does apply very very nicely so i really really like this color so there is kelly yum yum and then okay let me make sure i put the top on the right spot here is candy yum yum so as you can see actually kelly yum yum seems to be a little bit deeper than um candy yum yum i love both of them so i'm so glad that i got it i actually was at first thinking that i was not gonna get it because i thought it was gonna be too close to um candy yum yum and then i thought who am i kidding i'm gonna get it anyway so i'm just gonna buy it because if not then i'm gonna regret it and then i'm gonna be stalking the site until they either re um stock or i would have to be at nordstrom's and not sleep all night sunday trying to buy it from Nordstrom's. So I'm so glad that I got it. Plus I did lose a lot of sleep over these and they released some right at seven. I could have slept. I don't know what I was thinking. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my swatches. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Um, anyways, I hope this helps out. Unfortunately, um, uh, Riot House and Strip Poker, 
I don't like you guys. Not for me at least. I've seen them in other people and they look gorgeous. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep them because I ordered them from Mac's website. So I'm not going to return that. It's too much pain. I'm lazy. Who am I kidding? But um, I will keep them and I will try to make them work. But Candy Yum Yum and um, the purple one. Jeez, I already forgot the name of them. Um, Dodgy Girl is the one that I can't say. Um, I totally love those two colors. So, hey, two for two. It's not bad at all. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a great night. Bye.